As we should know by now, video game culture has never been great at naming genres at the best of times. I mean, this was the world that brought us adventure game to mean games where you rub random inventory items on everything like a blind raccoon in a recycling facility. But in my opinion, one of gaming parlance's rare triumphs in recent years has been the term movement shooter, to refer to any shooter, right, where you have to do a lot of moving around. How superbly elegant. What a shame I'm only drawing attention to it now, I'm absolutely bloody sick of the fucking things. Fun though it was when Doom 2016 kicked off the nostalgia wave for 90s style shooters, there's currently enough of them on Steam to clog a baleen whale's dentures. But the cultural vogue is constantly adapting, and that's presumably why with Robocop Rogue City, developers Taeon are pioneering a new interesting counterpoint to the movement shooter, namely the plod around like you've got tea trays strapped to each foot and two pounds of rapidly cooling shit threatening to leak out the legs of your underpants. Shooter. Or to use its original name, Gears of War. These are the same devs who brought us Terminator Resistance, and before that a list of shovelware titles as long as Mrs. Slenderman's left tit, but who seem to have now found their niche adapting nostalgic 80s sci-fi properties into basically okay shooters that get oddly well received just because people are surprised they managed to stand up by themselves without their kneecaps popping off like champagne corks. And why not? Who says film adaptations need to be timely? It's the age of streaming after all, someone's always watching Robocop somewhere. Why kill yourself to get your multicoloured gnome filating simulator out at the same time as Trolls 4 any trolls a goal when shit like Robocop is never not going to be relevant? And you know why that is? Because walking into a room full of gun-toting stereotypical 80s punks and standing there smiling amiably as they waste hundreds of rounds on your impenetrable metal shell before calmly popping all their skulls in systematic order from left to right speaks to a lot of cathartic fantasies, as well as being a great universal metaphor for everything from being hate-mobbed on Twitter to participating in a Bukaki shoot. And you know what? It is fun! It reminds me of playing those old arcade shooters like Virtua Cop, where you mostly just stood on your big fat donut storage facility and picked off dudes as they popped up like whack-a-moles, and it's more than just the sheer bubble wrap catharsis of clogging the ceiling fans with disembodied mohawks, there's still the challenge of keeping an eye on your health, strategic use of Robocop brand Estus flasks, and manoeuvring your thunderous metal thighs behind cover when things actually get hairy. And that's all you need to do, really. Don't worry too much about outwitting the enemy AI. If they had any sense at all, they'd have stuck with the remedial school. So the basic combat is a very effectively solid core for everything else to dance around, and fuck me does Rogue City have a lot dancing around it. Most of which is lame, stupid, or pointless, but the core's solid, so who cares? It's just like using a carousel to dry some embarrassing laundry. For example, Robocop could equip a variety of secondary guns that the enemies drop, but almost none of them are better than the default infinite ammo burst pistol, so it's a complete waste of effort. That's one silly but ultimately harmless pair of damp knickers for a start. There's also a skill tree system, wherein the branches that give you more health or the somewhat essential ability to dodge, faster than a beached killer whale being rolled by a slightly above average sized wave, are given equal prominence to the branch that lets you acquire more niceness points in the half-baked choices matter system that has about as much significant impact as a cheeky slap upon the bum of a beached killer whale. That's a dangling oversized bra on a fiberglass horse's face. Oh, and there's an actually rather inventive upgrade system where you rearrange chips with different connectors on a variety of different motherboards to access different stat boosts while avoiding debuffs. Nice little idea, if you don't mind taking a break from the hardcore shooting to play Pipe Dream on your phone for a few minutes. But it too never has much significant impact on one's ability to point at a drug dealer's head and turn it into a little red shower of chunky meat like the piñata at my dog's birthday party. It is very cute. I want to pinch Robocop's little cheek and jiggle it till it makes a sound like a metal mixing bowl being cleaned with a chamois leather, because it's totes adorbs the way Robocop Rogue City thinks it's a real game. It's trying so gosh darn hard with its accurately modelled likenesses of the original actors that animate so awkwardly you can practically hear the squeaking of gears as their mouths flap up and down. And then there's the plot. It takes place after Robocop 2 but before Robocop 3. And I apologise for forcing you to devote precious brain cells to the canon of the fucking Robocop movies for a minute. The gangs of Detroit are all getting really excited about some bloke obliquely titled The New Guy in Town and are hoping he'll eat at their cafeteria table and be their best friend. So they're all doing huge crimes in the hopes of getting his attention that Robocop and pals have to deal with. Maybe they're doing a The Bachelor style reality TV show for crime lords, because when we meet the dude he kind of seems like just a random prick who enjoyed Alan Rickman's performance in the movie Die Hard so much he modelled his fucking life on it. We progress through a slightly wonkily told story that switches between linear sequences of buildings full of dudes to shoot and more open-ended levels where we have to listen to NPCs dribble on about their stupid fucking problems before some excuse is contrived for going to a building full of dudes to shoot, interspersed with trips to the police station where we can either go straight to the next actually fun part of the game, or pause for some suffocatingly pointless side quest where Robocop goes around getting everyone to sign a get well soon card, and that's not the facetious exaggerated example it sounds like. But at least it lets you appreciate the painstaking effort that went into accurately modelling the police station so it looks like it did in the films. I wonder if that's down to Taeon's genuine affection for Robocop, or a complete lack of trust in their own ability to come up with stuff. Which might be fair, considering their last big original property was 101 Dino Pets 3D. Still, as I say, they found their niche, they adapted established 
IP as faithfully as possible to let the nostalgia do the heavy lifting, and attach it to a game that's exactly as good as it needs to be, and no better. It's a perfectly competent headshot gallery whose only significant evolution comes when the enemies start wearing helmets, and all you have to do then is start aiming for their bollocks instead, which is a paradigm shift of a kind. Pair a something shift at any rate. <laughs> This week's Fully Ramblematic is sponsored by Stream 6, where every game is a shared adventure. Stream 6 is a social gaming platform that revolutionizes the way we play and interact online. It offers an eclectic mix of games that cater to both content creators, that's us, and their audiences, oh, that's you! Immerse yourself in Marvels on Stream for a community-centric race. Delve into the innovative twist of the bingo room and strategize with your viewers in Leviathan, the RTS that makes your audience part of the action. And let's not forget Race Day Rampage, where your skills and reflexes take the driver's seat in a high-speed chase for victory. All these games are free to play and just a tap away on mobile platforms and Steam. Join the vibrant Stream 6 Discord community and visit Stream6.com for more information. Connect, compete, and celebrate gaming in a way that only Stream 6 can offer. <laughs>